Hello, my name is Mel Brandt and I am the owner of Lifestyle IND Media and Marketing. And today I'm going to be dropping in here sharing with you how to create 10 pieces of content from one live. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, I'm too scared to do a live. I can't get out of my own way. What if one live could create more than a week's worth of content, if not two weeks, maybe a month, depending on how often you post worth of content? Do you think that that live is worth doing? I think so. So you're going to see me looking across to check my notes on the 10 things uh, that I want to share with you on how to create this content. So firstly, what you wanna do is do your live. So choose a topic that you can talk about uh, for quite some time, which will allow you to either inspire, educate, or entertain. That is step number one. Step number two is if you do this live on your mobile device onto Facebook, say for example, you can actually go into your live on a desktop and download it from your Facebook. Now you have your live on your desktop. So what can you do with it now? You can upload it to YouTube. So if you don't have a YouTube channel, I definitely recommend getting one. It's an amazing way to get your content into shareable links. So if I wanted to share this with you, as a lot of you will get, you will be sent a link. So this is an amazing way to do it. The great thing with YouTube is you get to choose whether or not you want somebody to be able to see this content when they land on your channel. So you can actually make it unlisted when you upload it, change the privacy to unlisted. What that means is when you send the link to someone, they can watch it, but when they land on your channel, they can't see it. Amazing, right? Step number two, we are going to play back the video and you're going to create your own quote. So play it back, have a listen to some of the things that you've said and maybe write down some sentences that you can create your own quotes where you can tag them with your own name and uh, that is the next piece of content that you have created. The next one, upload your quote into Canva and make it a social media post. So maybe you're gonna make it an Instagram post or maybe you're gonna make it an Instagram story template and you're gonna pop your quote in there, maybe with a photo, voila, you have another piece of content that you've just designed. The next one is upload your video that's on your desktop into what's called transcribeme.com or rev. Com. These are platforms that will take your video and they will put them into a written form and send it back to you. Amazing. Your live has now just been turned into a document. You can use this document as a maybe a free lead magnet. You might be able to use it in a coaching or a training. Uh, you might be able to give it to your team. Who knows what you can do with it, but now you have it in a written form. The next thing you can do is create a blog. I hear a lot of people saying, I'd love to be out of blog, but I just don't get the time. Well, your five minute or less than five minute live has just been turned into a blog. Now you just need to go through and edit out all, edit out all of the ums and uh, put in the words that you need to make sure that it reads correctly for a blog. The next thing is take snippets of your live training and create pockets of ideas. So say, for example, I could take this video that I'm doing now and I could create a little training on transcribe me. Then I could create a little training on how to use Canva. Yeah, so there's little things that you share within when you're speaking that you might be able to do some extra trainings on and create even more content. The next one is create a branded Insta story idea. So maybe you've branded, maybe you have it. This is for people that have. Uh, so you can go into your Insta story put up some posts around the message that you want to send and create a branded template to pop up. The next thing you can do is how could you potentially make a TikTok out of the video that you've just done? So it's very, very cool way to be able to get uh, your information out there that you need to. So how could you be creating a TikTok 
getting out of your comfort zone and using some more platforms to grow your business. The next thing is maybe you could get some interview ideas. So I could, with this video, have a think about who do I know that's a social media influencer? Who do I know that understands social media? Maybe I could go and interview them. That's gonna give me not only another live, but I could go and do this again and I've just got more than 20 pieces of content from two videos. So hopefully that has helped you understand a little bit about how to create 10 or more create, uh, pieces of content from one live. And if you absolutely love this, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be sharing a hell of a lot more of this type of information via YouTube and many other channels.